Okay, this is what we're going to make today. It is uh, silver solder that you would use for jewelry or uh, I mainly will use it for uh, attaching copper items together that need to be hard soldered or silver soldered. Um, you know, silver solder is really expensive when you go buy it. And this I just made from a sterling silver spoon and some old uh, cartridges from a gun. Uh, it's the way that Indians used to make it years ago. Uh, they would use just, you know, silver that they had found and then uh, cartridge cases. And that gives you a solder that is uh, melts at a lower temperature than silver so that you can join it together. This is our ingot mold. And this is one that I made. There's a video that I'm going to post about that. And we're going to use this small uh, side right here. And the first thing I... First thing I want to do is smoke it. All right, so we're just going to take an acetylene torch. Okay. All right, so there you go. And I got a ton of soot flying around in here. Okay, but you can see I got a nice coating of soot on both of those. And you just take, turn the acetylene on and just give it little to no oxygen and it'll do that for you. We'll close it up, put some clamps on it. And now that's ready to go. So the formula for this is two parts sterling silver. This is a sterling silver spoon and then one part brass and I'm going to be using some gun shell casings and you can get these at any firing range uh, most police departments will have these laying around where, wherever their uh, gun range is and they'll give them to you for free or you can just if you go to a gun range you can just go pick them up off the ground and then of course sterling silver spoon you know you can get these at estate sales or online or you may have them laying around the house which is what i had with this one so we're going to get this weighed up two parts of sterling silver to one part brass now i'm using an old beam scale uh, you can get some uh, digital scales uh, really cheap and that's probably if you don't have one that's what i would buy um, and i'll put some down in the description of um, a scale and some of the other parts that i'm using today in case you're interested so I'm going to start by just nipping off. You know, it's hard to take something like this and, and ruin it. So uh, anyway, I'm just going to nip off. So just nip this up so I can get it in, in my crucible. Okay, so I've got 17 point. Four, uh, 0.3 grams, 17.3 divided by 2 gives us 8.65 grams. So we want 8. Point, we'll say 7 grams of brass. Okay, so let me show you the difference between um, the different ones. See this one, this is called a center fire. It's got that little, the primer is in the center. This one doesn't have that, and you actually fire it by hitting it on the side. It's called a rim fire. So if you can get these ones without the center part, you're better off because these can... See, like that one's got a brass cup in it, so it really won't matter. But some of them have chrome plating on them and, and nickel plating and stuff like that, which would kind of contaminate your, um, your melt. So I would try to get the ones without that, or you can... You can come in from this end with something and punch up, just knock them out of there before you melt them. Okay, so that's what I want right there. So now these are pretty thin, so, um, and with brass, you have to be careful not to boil off the tin that's in there or the zinc that's in there. And so I'm just going to smash these. Okay, that may very well have been an unnecessary step, but that plus our silver, um, I wound up having too much, so I actually did one third of what I had before and just reweighed it. So that's going to be our charge right there, and we're going to get that melted. Now, this crucible has already been fluxed, and I'll, I've got a video on showing you how to flux your crucible before you get started. 
Okay, so I've got our mold and it's set up on a piece of fire brick and that's just to keep the heat from sinking out of it into this steel table. And uh, we've got this one side, we sooted it and then I think I may actually have enough uh, metal to do these two. So I oiled this one. You can oil these molds or you can soot them. And so I'm going to see which one I like better because I'd really rather oil it than do the soot because uh, it causes a big old mess in your shop to soot it. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and we're going to get this melted. Now, oh, the oil that I oiled this with is just uh, regular motor oil. You can use used motor oil. Uh, any weight of motor oil that you have will work just fine. Just do a light coating. Now we're going to heat this mold up. starting to see smoke come out of, where, of the, off the oil in there, so I know I'm hot enough now. Main, main reason you're heating, there's two reasons you're heating that. One is to make sure that you've driven off all moisture, because if you pour metal into anywhere there's moisture, it can, it, that moisture will turn to steam and it'll explode. Uh, also is to help the silver get all the way to the bottom before it freezes. I didn't get much in that other hole over there. Let's see how it did. Okay, that did great. We got a nice wire. Now this little piece right here, you know, I'm not gonna be able to use that for anything. If I had, anyway, I didn't realize how full that was. I could have poured this over here and it probably would have made about a half a rod, but okay. That worked really well and we didn't get any, uh, it didn't stick to our mold. So I'm going to get this, uh, I'm going to clean, soap and water clean it and then I'm just going to pickle it just to make sure that I've got all the oxides off of it. Okay, so let's test out this solder and I'm going to put just a little bit of flux on here. And I'll put this down in the comments, the flux that I'm using. It's actually for brazing, but it works just fine for this. And then I just take wire cutters and just cut a small little piece off. And we'll just lay it. That's probably actually bigger, a bigger piece than what I need. But we're going to lay it right there. All right, there you have it. Very nice little silver solder. And you know, for me, it didn't cost me anything because I used the uh, casings from uh, shells that I didn't pay for. And then I had this silver spoon laying around. Now I probably could have sold the silver spoon for something, but who knows how much I could have gotten for it. But <clears throat> it wouldn't have been as, I wouldn't get near as much as I would if I had to pay for uh, the silver solder. Anyway, hope that uh, helps somebody. Thank you for watching.